you have news, and I see all of our kids in TV studio have their news shirts on, I am getting out of high school. I am graduating. I'm going to be leaving St. John's to, this year. And you're going to start and guess what? Is I, this your retirement? I am retiring. When you say 24-7, Barbara is St. John's 24-7. She always took the time to listen. She listened more than she spoke, and she felt that every individual was important. She started in the gym, in, uh, a physical ed department. My first encounter with Miss Walsh was when she just finished uh, building the pyramids. She started in physical education with me, and uh, then she uh, moved on to teaching health, and then she got involved in the administration. So I think what was happening was the more she got further away from me, the, f the happier she was. <laughs> um, from the time she was the phys ed health person, uh, the only probably person teaching at that point, um, one of the premier and you know coaches and pioneer coaches at the time she changed athletics you know then she moved into her assistant principal's role and she changed things there with bringing um, the rules and the regulations but in a way that you wanted to be part of this community it made you proud to be here and that was I think something that she always strived for My first encounter with Miss Walsh was as a parent, and it was on the day of my son's first time here at St. John's as a freshman. He came home and he said, Dad, there was a very mean lady on the TV today. Her name was Miss Walsh. We are not hanging in our car. We are not making out, hooking up, whatever words you want to use, hiding behind the buses with our girlfriend, boyfriend, while waiting for the buses to leave. You know, back um, probably 1995, I think it might have been, you know, I had done some, some, some stupid kid stuff and gotten in a little bit of trouble, and I was in Miss Walsh's office. And uh, she just gave me some great advice, just talked about staying the course and, and being a responsible person and, and being a representative for the school and for my family. Uh, and that's something that I've always taken with me. By graduation are the ones that had totally respect her and, and miss her. And for those that she comes in contact with often, there is a great respect that's developed. I offer my congratulations to each and every one of you but most especially to those of you that I call affectionately my frequent flyers. I remember at one graduation, one of her, as she used to call them, the bad boys. After he got his diploma, he broke with tradition and walked over to her. And she said he, she didn't know whether he was going to hug her or knock her off the chair, but he gave her a big hug. And you know, today's one of those days where, you know, you could go with rainy days and Mondays get me down, or you could go with, I'm singing in the rain, just singing one in the rain. <laughs> what a glorious Six feeling. <laughs> Come on, everybody. I'm happy again. How can one discuss Miss Walsh on TV in the morning? The old Carpenter song. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Miss Walsh on TV in the morning is um, fun. Sometimes she comes out with um, various quotes. There is something specific that she wants to say. This building, believe it or not, was built on a swamp. And therefore, you do not want food all over the place. It, it brings what? out the worst of the building. It's unpredictable. She comes with a huge plan, but as everybody knows, TV can be a very organic 
uh, creative process. I love her multiple choice questions she gives us when she shows us all the, the options of the, the things she sees around the schools, and which one's correct, which one's appropriate, which one's inappropriate. You know, she's real creative and I think it's great, but I love how she shows every morning her awareness of the life of the school. And the correct answer is none of these belong in school. All right. Have a good day. Happy day. Have a good day. Happy day. with Miss Walsh over here and I see she has some good nice looking sunglasses good taste is always in style 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 Miss Doherty uh, there are so many great quotes from Barbara that uh, where do you begin buckle down when Saki buckle down buckle down when Saki conflict is inevitable but fighting is a choice accoutrement please be attentive for this afternoon's announcements she designs, creates, and says new words that don't even exist, but they make sense. They're a combination of one word or another, and in some way, everybody knows what she's talking about, but it's a totally new word. And remember, always look for the sunshine behind the clouds. Barbara, um, I've enjoyed working with you for um, the last 21 years. Uh, you have been certainly an inspiration to me on many occasions. I know many students that you've changed for the better. And I just hope that the next phase of your life gives you much happiness, joy, and peace. I would just like to say thank you for everything, and I'm going to miss you, and I love you. Adios, amigos. And I'm going to really, really miss you very much, Miss Walsh. The last words to Miss Walsh are very simple. Thank you. Thank you for everything, really. Thank you, for, as I said before, for your knowledge, your wisdom, your, your uh, but really being very open to uh, listening to me and, and, and counseling me about all kinds of different things. So really, uh, the two words that I, I w wish to say Ms. to Miss Walsh the most, if I can say them, is thank you for really everything, because uh, she's been a tremendous influence on myself and really everybody here. Barbara, I, I hope you have a great retirement. I'm very jealous that you're going because I'd love to be there with you. Um, I hope you have good, long, healthy, uh, enjoyable times. And if you ever need any tools, you know, you just come to me and I'll help you with any project you might have. You know, we're going to miss you, Miss Walsh. You're not replaceable. There'll be someone in that position, but certainly it won't be Miss Walsh. My final words to Miss Walsh will be thank you for all you have done for me personally and for all you have done for this school, uh, for all you have done to make this a place where we could come to work every day um, and know that we can do what we were hired to do, which was to teach and to minister to kids. And I, I think sometimes that has come at a great cost to, to you personally, and it doesn't go unnoticed by us, and so thank you. Just a great big thank you for everything you've done for St. John's, all of your caring ways, both toward the students, staff, and faculty. And they're really, I, I just only wish you the very, very best, and thank you very much. Barbara, I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope you do everything you want to do every day. Remember, life is good. Do what you like, and like what you do. Ms. Walsh, any, any final words that I have for you? Um, thank you. You know, since I'm, since I'm 14 years old, I mean, I really can't thank you enough for everything that you've ever done for me, whether it was as a student, uh, as a faculty member, as a mentor um, in, in ways, and, and as a friend. Uh, I cannot say enough about you, and, and from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate everything you've ever done for, you know, for me and for my family and for the school, for the SJB community. Just thanks for being such a great friend.
So a final word to you, Barbara, a word of thanks uh, from me personally, for sure. My first year here, thank you for your support, for your friendship, but your model of joy, of careful discipline, and particularly the example you give to me, you know, support of Miss Doherty. It's awesome. I appreciate that. Um, I love that. To me, it's like an image of the church, you know, really supportive of one another. So I appreciate that. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. No, my, my final word is be who you are. Final words for Barbara Walsh, uh, you will be missed very much. And I'm getting teary again. Ms. Walsh, I just would like to thank you for your confidence you had in me uh, while I was here at SJB. Uh, I want to wish you a great retirement and God bless you. Barbara, I hope you feel the sand between your toes and the wind behind your back and all the love that everyone has for you. Love and God bless. My final words to Barbara are, I highly recommend retirement. Um, you will love it. Enjoy the time with your family and your friends. And St. John's will always be a part of you. You will always be a part of St. John's. You are 24 seven St. John's, but maybe now a little of that can also be Barbara Walsh. Knowing her for as long as I've known her. I'm not a person that people would feel is emotional or can get choked up but she has meant a lot to me personally in my life helped me with my career I have been here all of my career and I thank her for that she was my first boss she was one of the best bosses I had um, and again knowing that she could always be honest and caring compassionate you really can call her a good true friend Barbara it has been my greatest honor and privileged to be able to work with you and for SJB. I will miss you um, as a colleague, but I will have you forever as a friend. I'd like to raise a toast to Miss Walsh, my boss, my mentor, my friend. I wish you bubble baths, sugar-free bonbons, inexpensive health care, and all good things, time with friends, time with family, and as your favorite character, Mary Tyrell Moore, said as the, at the end of her last show, it's a long way to Tipperary. All of our most beloved TV sitcoms have had their famous last episode, and the reunion shows are never that good. The actors all age and change, and thank God that hasn't happened to any of us, right? Absolutely nope. not. I still, have, uh, I still have my brown hair. Father. I noticed that yeah. through the mm -hmm. miracle of high-definition yeah. makeup. Mm -hmm. In those early days with Sister Noella and Nancy Scoper and Ann Doherty, they used to call us that classic cast, the dream team. Well, and now some of the original cast members, minus Sister Noella, from those early days at SJB, have gathered to say farewell to our Mary, our friend, the last one to leave the newsroom. You know, Ms. Walsh, there's a Grateful Dead song that uh, one of the lines is, what a long, strange trip it's been. And for you and me, it's been a long trip of 40 years, 20 of them in administration. And 20 years ago in 1991, you and I shared a dream and shared a vision of what St. John's could become. And because of you, in no small measure, St. John's is that school today. If you take a look in your rearview mirror, what St. John's was in 1991, a school on the decline of 900 students, and what it is today, a thriving school of 1,700 students. You should feel proud and a great deal of satisfaction that you were instrumental in making that happen. You know, one of the things that's uh, so impressive and, and, and so in my heart these days is not only the great work that you've done to, to, uh, to bring about a change in a school, in a school and I can speak to that as a student and as uh, someone who eventually started to work there, but also the community that you help to build, not only among students and parents and sometimes among some of the most difficult situations and times with students and families, but also with all of us who had the privilege of working with you and today to call you a great friend. You, uh, your compassion, your great wisdom, your encouragement, your ability to know just when to call or just when to reach out really made all the rest of us kind of work so well together. And that's a great testament too, not only to a legacy that shows a school that's now thriving in large part because of all the hard and challenging work you had to deal with, but also a community of friendship that goes on and on and on and no retirement, no taking leave, no beginning in a, in a new endeavor takes that away for sure. You know, from the last episode of your beloved Mary Tyler Moore show, she said, sometimes I get concerned about being a career woman. The people you work with are just the people you work with. They're not my family. And last night I thought, what is a family anyway? 
They're the people who make you feel less alone and really loved, and that's what you've done for me. Thank you for being my family. Well, Barbara, your compassion, your professionalism, your example of what a woman of faith is has left a lasting impression on us all and on the community of SJB. And as a sign of that independence and interdependence on the show, Mary hung that M, remember, on her wall, claiming her rightful place in society and in the world. And so, Ms. Walsh, here is your M. Uh, actually, it's a B. That stands for Barbara. That's, that stands for Barbara, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you explained that, Father. Your rightful place in the amazing history of St. John the Baptist, to place on the wall as a reminder of the independence and interdependence that all three of us can attest that there is life after the last episode. You're going to make it after all. And Ms. Walsh, the vision continues. The dream lives on. You just have to pass the torch to a new generation of administrators. And so, Ms. Walsh, it's really time to say goodbye, good night, and make sure you shut the lights when you leave the newsroom. May you be blessed as you go on your way. May you be guided. and joy. May this be a blessing. Amen. 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 May this be a blessing. Amen. Yeah.